Piers Morgan has taken to Twitter to send his well wishes to the Queen following a report that she is under medical supervision amid doctors' growing concerns for her health. The 57-year-old was one of the first to comment on the news on his page, where he alerted his 8 million followers. He wrote, This seems a serious situation. Piers went on to share a picture of the royal alongside a praying hands emoji as he wished her all the best. In his latest tweet, he added, I can't even imagine Britain without this queen. Very unsettling day. Gary Lineker has also expressed his concerns with a similar comment, writing, Very worrying. Bob Geldof slips up in front of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry Alex Pyrrhus for dadded, thinking of Her Majesty, alongside a praying hand emoji. Lord Sugar penned, I am sure the whole nation will join me in wishing her well for a speedy recovery. Martin Lewis wrote, Never thought he'd be interrupted in an interview about the health of the Queen. Wishing her well. A statement from Buckingham Palace today read, Following further evaluation this morning, the Queen's doctors are concerned for Her Majesty's health and have recommended she remain under medical supervision. The Queen remains comfortable and at Balmoral. All four of the 96-year-old's children have now arrived to be by her side. The health announcement comes after she pulled out of the Privy Council on doctor's orders yesterday. On Tuesday, the Queen was all smiles and on her feet as she appointed Liz Truss as the new Prime Minister at Balmoral. George Clooney's wife Amal fumed over kiss blunder with Julia Roberts, revealed Madonna, 64, almost unrecognizable with bleached brows and red hair, Pictured Zac Efron says bone was hanging off his face after injury, health news, Boris Johnson's replacement said of the update this afternoon, the whole country will be deeply concerned by the news from Buckingham Palace this lunchtime. My thoughts, and the thoughts of people across our United Kingdom, are with Her Majesty the Queen and her family at this time. Labour leader Keir Starmer also added, along with the rest of the country, I am deeply worried by the news from Buckingham Palace this afternoon. My thoughts are with Her Majesty the Queen and her family at this time, and I join everyone across the United Kingdom in hoping for her recovery. The monarch has ongoing mobility issues and was pictured using a walking stick for the first time last year at Westminster Abbey. Around the same time, she was given doctor's orders to rest and cancelled a run of engagements. Later that month, she spent a night at the private King Edward VII Hospital in central London. A palace spokesman at the time said she was admitted for preliminary investigations but returned to Windsor Castle a day later.